was here and uh, produced uh, some of his most famous works. And this is it. This is the, the one that's left. This is the only one that's left in the region. I feel a particular affinity with, with this artist, with Vincent van Gogh. There's so much emotion there, and he has found a way of capturing that emotion in picture and in colour. We can say that, that he was in some way maybe synesthetic. Synesthesia, that's right. That's a mixture of the senses. It's a rare phenomenon occurring in the regions of the brain associated with different abilities, the recognition of colours, for example, the ability to manipulate numbers or to use language. In some people, the brain is able to cross-talk, to communicate between the regions, and these unusual connections are the... the, the the, the cause of synesthesia. I see numbers, language as well, in colours and shapes and textures and so on. I'm able to use that synesthesia, that communication between the regions, to do both, to have the emotion for both numbers and for language, and it enriches both at the same time. Mm. So my ability in mathematics and in language and literature and so on is enriched, enhanced. In the case of Van Gogh, he's not only taking a train or uh, a piece of landscape, he's, he's, he's putting uh, his, his own experience into that and creating something unique, the colour and the, 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 the painting, the way that he combined those elements together. And I guess what I'm doing with words, what I'm doing with numbers is something similar. I'm taking my own experience, how I experience those numbers, how I experience those, those words, and putting something there that, that wasn't there before, the colours and the shapes and so on.